in rooms two and eight is Mary Barker. She um, had a rapid response called on her at 6.15 this morning. She got into some respiratory difficulty. Her vital signs have improved since the rapid response. She needs her dressing change to the stab wound on her right chest. She had a chest tube in that area, but it was removed a couple days ago. I wanted to be a nurse because my probably my number one reason was because there's so many avenues in nursing. You don't just have to be an RN who works in a hospital and takes care of patients every day. There's so many options. So that really appealed to me. There are people who are going to rely on me for them to be improved and for their health to be improved, and it really makes it worthwhile. Today's student is the millennial student. And the millennial student is very much in tune with technology. They are fast-paced learners. They need to be engaged. The days of PowerPoints and lecturing are going by the wayside. <laughs> Mary, we're getting you some oxygen to make you more comfortable. We have a call in to the doctor. That's what I love about the simulation and in the lab. They get hands-on experience, they get engagement, but with the flick of a button and a remote, we can change a situation for the better or uh, for the worse and see how their critical thinking develops and how they come up with their own interventions to be able to solve the problems that are going on. The first time the mannequins made noise, we were in our first simulation and it was supposed to be a female patient and he had a male voice and he coughed like a male and so it was kind of amusing at first but it creates a very realistic situation. <laughs> the environment when students work in a simulation is one that parallels what they would have in the hospital. While learning can be fun, it's not an opportunity to just goof off and say, oh well, no big deal. This is a graded activity. It's an activity where they're to focus on learning. And so they take that opportunity seriously because our students want to be the best they can be once they're out on the clinical unit. I think the, the hands-on is very important for them to be able to take the classroom work and then be able to make it come alive with their patients, take those skills and be able to see for themselves that they can do it and they can actually do it on a real person after they come into the lab. When you see the light bulbs go off in the student's head, it's, it's exhilarating as an educator because you realize the time, the effort, the work, and the simulation in the lab itself, the experience was just what they needed to be able to get that light bulb to go off and be able to see them go through that thinking process and come out with appropriate outcomes for the patient. In our simulation area, they are able to practice and practice and practice. <laughs> so that is really, you know, one of the differences that they have. We're trying to make it as lifelike as possible. We're also trying to use the same equipment that they would use in some of the facilities that they're using in the real world. This is 21st um, century education. So we need to constantly be moving forward to be able to meet the needs of the new generation.